Hi, my name is Jason Wheeler with Coffee Adventures here in Mount Rainier National Park and I want to show you a very simple way to take a bearing off of a map and follow it in the field. So, first thing you need to know is how to read a topographic map. If you're not familiar with how to read a map like this, then you should probably take a class from Coffee Adventures and we'll show you how to do it. Okay? And you also need to be familiar with the basic parts and function of a compass. Alright, so if you have both of those, topographic map reading knowledge and familiarity with a compass, I'm going to show you a very simple way to do this process. Alright, so come on in here. So here we have the Mount Rainier National Park seven and a half minute map. We want to travel from Camp Muir through to Cadaver Gap, which is the route up to the Disappointment Cleaver route. Okay? We want to take a bearing, that's actually right here, isn't it? So we want to take a bearing from Camp Muir to the Gap to get up to the DC and head up to the top of Mount Rainier. You take your compass, line up the edge of the base plate with Camp Muir and the route up to the DC, up onto the Ingram Glacier. And you have the direction of travel arrow pointing in the direction that you want to go. At this point, you turn the bezel until the reading lines here underneath the needle are lined up with the true north direction of the map. If you see here right by my middle finger there's a small cross. That small cross right there is put on the map so that you can do exactly this. And you line up the lines so that they are running about as close as you can get to that. Reasonably close. Which it seems we have here. Okay? Parallel. Parallel with this line, or parallel with the edge of the map. Okay? So now we need to subtract our declination. Okay? This changes wherever you're at in the United States. It changes wherever you're at in the world. But if you're in the western United States, you're going to subtract your declination from this total number. So here we need to subtract 18.5 degrees. So we're going to subtract 18.5 degrees. right there. This, right now, is your bearing. This is your bearing that you will travel. You no longer need the map, and you're going to line up your compass, as they say, red for red, in the shed. Which is lining up the needle of the compass. Glares a little here. Lining up the needle of the compass with the red shed that's inside the bezel housing. And here, you follow your direction of travel arrow right on your route to the summit of Mount Rainier. That's it. Hope you all understand that. Good luck in the mountains.